Welcome back. Let's talk about the digestive tract once again. The digestive tract is a hollow tube. It's a long tube that extends from the mouth to the anus. Although it's a hollow tube, it's lined with millions and millions of cells. These cells are almost like sheets that cover the internal inside portion of the tube itself. These cells serve three very important functions. Number one is absorption of nutrients. Two is protection, protection against foreign substances and invaders. And three, it plays an important function in the immune system. Yes, the digestive tract is part of the immune system. So the one phenomenon that I wanted to discuss today was the leaky gut syndrome. It's also known as intestinal permeability. It, it increased, it, it's also, it can be described as the increased intestinal permeability. So if you want to look it up, that would be the best way to do so. Just as the name implies, increased intestinal permeability, that means the transport of, of molecules and substances that normally shouldn't be transported. Let me give you a diagrammatic representation of what I think might give you a better sense of what the digestive, of how it works. Here's the hollow tube. Here's one cell, and here's another cell. Here you can see tiny molecules being transported through the cell itself, which means transcellular transport through the cell. And here is a small opening between the two cells, and that is known as paracellular, or around the cell or near the cell. And these are kind of like small channels. And you can see all these molecules are roughly about the same size uh, that are being transported through the cell and near the cell. Now, with some, some sort of a, 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 when there's an inflammatory response in the digestive tract, and something that causes these channels to become larger, you can see that larger than normal molecules are able to pass through. Same thing happens through the actual cells. Now, what are some of the causes that result in that re type of response in the digestive tract? Alcoholism, pharmaceutical medications, that includes antibiotics, that includes non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. It can be chemotherapy, can be radiation, can be cancer, can be bacterial and viral infections of the digestive tract. It could be autoimmune conditions, celiac disease, HIV could be a whole list of other things that may result in this type of reaction. So leaky gut refers to larger than normal molecules being absorbed into the bloodstream. So if you can envision eating the same type of food over and over again, and if you're allergic to that, those molecules are able to pass through into the bloodstream and cause you to have an allergic reaction. That's how the body mounts an immune response. So what are some of the things, uh, so uh, let's talk about first, what, can you really t test for this? Absolutely. There is a, uh, a, a urine test essentially. What it is, it's a person fasts for 12 hours, then you drink a sugar drink which consists of two different types of sugars. One is known as lactulose, one is known as mannitol. One is one molecules of one sugar are larger than the other. So if you're seeing the a, a, a large amount of one of the sugars in the urine, that suggests that there is uh, this increased intestinal permeability. There, there's a little bit more specifics to this particular test, but that's the general idea. Now, what can you do about it? Well, this is the type of condition that it's not necessarily something you can resolve on your own, per se. And, of course, the best thing is to consult a healthcare practitioner, practitioner or a physician who is well-versed in this. Um, I will comment on the one thing that in the conventional setting, conventional medicine, this is, this is not very well accepted, this, this idea. Uh, but, however, there are still a number of open-minded physicians who will are receptive to this idea, so I would highly encourage you to 
seek um, assistance. However, things that are, for instance, I'll use some examples. Fish oils, they're excellent anti-inflammatory and they, they can be helpful. Of course, fiber can be helpful. Uh, glutamine is a type of amino acid that is specifically for feeding the cells of the digestive tract. And of course, when you feed the cells, they are able to repair themselves. Additionally, probiotics, antioxidants, but again, I'd like to encourage you to seek professional healthcare advice.